yesterday, Don Lemon was in the middle of a media firestorm after he had a woman by the name of Joan Tarsus on his show. And Joan Tarsus is one of the recent women who has come forward with rape allegations against Bill Cosby. Now, while Don Lemon was interviewing her, he made a statement that was controversial to say the least. Take a look. Can I ask you this because mm -hmm. we, and, and, mm -hmm. and please, I don't, I don't mean to be crude, okay? Yeah. Because I know some of you, and you said this last night, that he, you lied to him and said, I have an infection. Mm -hmm. And if you rape me, or if you do, if you have intercourse mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. me, then you will probably get it and give it to your wife. Right. And you said he, was, he made you perform oral sex. Right. You, you know, there are ways not to perform oral sex if you oh. don't want to do it. Um, I was kind of stoned at the time, right. and quite honestly, that didn't even enter my mind. Mm, yeah. Now I wish it would have. Right. But meaning the using of the teeth, mm -hmm. right? Yes, to, that's what I'm as thinking. You're, yeah, sort of I didn't even think of it. Biting. So. Um, Ouch. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I, I had to ask. Now that seems as though he's putting the onus on the woman yeah. who, in this case, is a victim. If that occurred, now of course, Bill Cosby. We have to keep saying this because it's true. He hasn't been convicted of mm -hmm. rape. These are allegations at this point, and this was a situation that happened many decades ago. Yeah. But nonetheless, let's say that it is confirmed and she's a victim mm -hmm. of rape. Last thing you want to do is put the blame on her and say, "Well, I mean, you could have used your teeth. Why were you giving him oral sex? Did you want it?" At least that's what it is implied in his statement. Yeah, I. I don't know if you saw the twit storm that happened right after this, but the trending uh, hashtag was Don Lemon reporting, and there were things like, why couldn't Kennedy take a different route on the parade? There's tons of different streets in Texas, um, yeah. or my favorite, because it was mine. Um, <laughs> Something to the effect of, well, you claim you don't want to be killed and used for fashion, but you are literally made of mink. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, that's, you know, it was, it was ripe for humor because I honestly don't believe that he has bad intentions. Yeah. I, I think you, it was just a really, really stupid thing to say. He doesn't seem like a bad guy. Yeah. But he seems like an oblivious guy. Exactly. Which, yeah. and, and even though it, it, it ends up sounding the same, I think there's a difference. Mm -hmm. um, but as a woman, I think we have a right to react and go, Hold on, wait, because if an intelligent reporter who is supposed to be, you know, a level-headed mouthpiece for what's going on in the world thinks that, then, you know, any Yahoo sitting out there might think that, and that's not okay. So after that happened, and of course after uh, Twitter responded to his interview, he did apologize for it. Uh, he did say, you know, if I have offended anyone, I apologize that that wasn't my intention. But what's interesting is, he had Joan back on his show, and hear what she had to say about it. I think, I think you know, maybe we got a little bit too um, friendly, so to speak, because we had been talking before the show, and so, you know, if, if I offended you, and I'm not, I don't think I did, then, you know, I'm, I'm sorry for that. You didn't offend me at all, and it was, it was very casual. It was kind of like, well, let's go sit in a cup, a cup of coffee and... Uh, Talk about what could have been happening. So, Joan, I, listen, I, as I said, I think that sometimes things are uncomfortable, but you have to ask questions, and I believe, in, I believe every journalist should be able to ask questions, and, and even if those questions are uncomfortable. What do you think about that last part? I think if he would have kept his full mouth shut, he would have actually got out of that one and like looked okay. Yeah, I think the last part of that is what bothered me the most because yes, journalists are supposed to ask the hard questions, but in that case, you didn't really ask a question, you yeah. made a statement. It was, you could have used your teeth. Right? And if you would have put a question mark at the end of that, you still would have sounded like an yeah. idiot. Yeah. yeah. That's not, that's, don't hide behind being a journalist when you're asking something stupid. Yeah. And, and I don't think, as a journalist, do you say, well, you know, he's, I mean, do you? I mean, it would be the equivalent of me having a man on the show, a former inmate who got raped in prison, right. and I would say something like, well, I mean, I, you know, you could have prevented yourself from dropping the soap. Like, why did you drop the soap? I mean, how stupid is that, right? I mean, any, anyone who's in their right mind wouldn't ask a question like that yeah. or make a statement like that. So Don Lemon needs to be self-aware enough to understand that when you say things like that, it places the blame on the person who's alleging that she got raped. Yeah, and, and those fake apologies are ruining it. As, as he's ruining it for all reporters in that mm -hmm. case, his apology is ruining it for all apologies. <laughs> because his mouth said, I'm sorry for that, but his eyes said, Come, Come on. on. Come yeah, on. exactly.